Okay, just a five minute game. I think I'm going to attack the knight here. And then capture the knight. Bishop's blocking the diagonal, so we can actually push through the centre here now. Because the bishop can't stop us from going to castle. So we're looking to exchange the queen off. He's taking his time, so it doesn't look like he's... Oh, let's go. Okay, so he's attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece. Can go there, can go there, can there. But I think I'm just going back to where it came from here. Okay, so there's nothing behind the knight, so I can freely move the knight and attack the bishop. Let's just bring it back around again. The knight's defending. So he's also attacking our pawn. Yep. So let's just bring this knight here, protecting the pawn. I'm trying not to lose a tempo, but somehow. So his pawn pushing down, coming onto our knight. If his pawn pushes down, we're going to have to go and castle, I believe, because he's got a nice little space here with his bishop and his rook. He's trying to win that tempo, but he, I was just going to say his bishop's all jammed in now, so are we winning it back? If I capture his bishop, knights hunt the bishops in the mantra, so just stick with the mantra and let the chips lay where they lie let's attack a higher piece with a lesser piece he has got a dark square bishop so that diagonal to, onto the king we need to be mindful of that so we can keep pushing onto the knight but i still want to develop my pieces first so let's bring this bishop out attacking a piece and then bring this rook here attacking his rook to try and give him something to think about Because what they really want to do is go and castle. They want to bring the bishop out. But we're giving them something to think about. And again let's attack the rook. The bishop comes out defending. So let's get the bishop on the back rank. Okay so the bishop now is on the back rank. Doesn't really want to be there. If I can bring my rook here. Because he's going to go Russian castle. If we get to this point we can attack this pawn. I suppose the pawn can just drop down. But maybe we can harass. Oh, there is one key thing in there. If I bring my rook here, his knight comes and does the blocker. And it's attacking our pawn here. Our rook can take his pawn. His knight takes our pawn. We can then, I suppose, put a pin on the bishop. His bishop drops back. We take the rook the bishop takes. Hmm. Or we can just attack his rook with our bishop. Attacking the pawn here. Let's do that. So he's going to move his rook dead quick. But obviously he's thinking, damn, I've just lost a pawn here. Let's go here. Right, I've got to think this isn't a long game. It's only five minutes. And we can bring the bishop back into the middle. Or just bring it back in front of the king here, holding court. Let's go here, keep it safe. This knight's, yeah, going for the pawns. Eek, right. It's going for the pawn. We could attack his pawn with a two on one. His pawn drops down. We come here. Let's do that. Let's not be too greedy in terms of trying to defend all the pawns in the world. So he's got options, take, take, but he's not putting pressure on our rook, so that's a blessing, I think. Could take with the bishop, putting pressure onto the bishop. He's not gone for that, he's actually attacking, so... If we pushed onto his knight his knight takes the pawn so we'll just leave that for now and just uh, attack the pawn here so if his knight disappears then he can't take the pawns he's still got options of these two he might want to be greedy and keep hold of his pawn by pushing down 
muss ich es fragen. It's actually come down for the bishop. The bishop has got protection from the king. So that's okay. Knight can go around, do a boomerang, attack the bishop. Could come on top here. Uh, which pawn do we want to keep? Shall we keep that one? Let's keep that one. His knight will take the pawn here. Maybe we can push here. Does he have a fork after that? Right there. Right. He has to come round the back, doesn't he? Mm, so that's one way of getting rid of the knight. Knight will be stuck in the back here, not doing much. Good. We're on 1 minute 40, so, oh my god, he's actually moved. I'm surprised. Let's attack the bishop then, get ready for the king to take. There we go. It's going to pin our knight to the rook, so we've got enough time to bring the king across. And what's he got? Knight coming, blocking. There's no blocks, which is good. Which way does the knight? Knight wants to attack this pawn, doesn't it? So coming back this way seems a bit more appropriate. Let's move this pawn, and like we said, just go here. Got no time to think too much. He's actually captured, okay. Moves his pawn, doesn't want it taken, but we've got this pawn, we've got two pawns, yeah, to choose from. Which one do they want to save? King probably coming here to save this pawn. But I already have a pawn majority on this side, so hmm, okay, let's capture. Let's go here attacking the pawn on this side. It's putting a bit of pressure on him to actually move that pawn. So if we did capture here. Hmm. Let's capture. Let's get rid of it. It's knight probably taking. Yeah. So let's move the king up because his knights want in play around here. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, how do we want to do this? Time's running out, you know. Knight here. He's coming down for my pawns. Knight across. Try to block off there, 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 there. This king is going to come here, isn't he? But the knight's protecting this pawn now. If he can get rid of my knight by putting his knight, attacking my knight. So if I just push this pawn up to prevent the king from coming here. He's doing it out and back in. He's doing it out and back in. Oh, I don't like this. Let's go here. 55 seconds. Uh, move the king. Time is running out, let's say, uh, oh, 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 we've got a situation people, let's push this one up, the knight takes, then we can maybe try and run it up, doesn't, let's capture, has he got a check on my king with his knight, no, let's push this pawn, let's put a check on the king, he looks a bit congested in there, let's push this pawn up, Eight seconds left. And push this pawn. And let's just bring back here now. He's only got four seconds left. I don't think there's much that they can do with four seconds. Capture. And zero seconds. Boom. Another enjoyable game. Playing as white this time at last. So let's have a look at the analysis on that one because a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff seemed to be happening. Okay, so plain as white, and we developed through. 
I'm trying to tone down the attacks but I want to keep the attacks in place I don't feel like I'm rushing anything this time I feel like the position seems to be working for us we yeah nice and simple boomerang attack castling captures appropriate capturing and targeting again simple rook attack attack with the bishop capturing the pawn basically like that was a skew up bringing the bishop back to safety it's got something protecting it which is the king and the gauge bar in this situation is still showing white in a favorable position and um, because the knight's got the two pawns they have to make a choice as to what they do so they push down and he's got the x-ray through to our bishop but we said the king's protecting the bishop so not an issue we had a choice which pawn did we want to save but the opponent didn't take any so that was a good thing for us and we were close enough to our rook again so that we could then go for the exchange because we knew that our knight was going to get pinned if it was going to get pinned and there was nothing protecting the rook I wouldn't have done the knight move there, so position play attacking putting checks on yeah that all seems okay didn't do anything majorly wrong I don't think in that one nice position yeah that was a nice attack by the knight then yeah good pos good position attacking understanding the pawn structure the time was running out so at this point here we just needed to jostle a bit interesting game